I made a note here about stupid questions. <laughs> so stupid questions are not the questions that you don't know the answers to. They're the questions that you don't ask yourself the answer first before you ask the question, right? It's the unthinking questions. It's hard to ask yourself first, actually. It takes mental energy. And I remember one day I was like, my former business partner, really brilliant guy, super dysfunctional, but super brilliant as well, intellectually. And one day um, I made this comment to him, this is so many years ago, about how difficult it is to like constantly be questioning and re-questioning and like just making the effort to ask yourself first. And he looked at me really pointedly and he's like, that is the most disgusting thing about humanity. <laughs> it's like, whoa, okay. That not making the effort, not just on a physical level, we've all been programmed through coaching and athletics and that's great to like put forth the effort, but taking that into the psychological and emotional domain and even like spiritual domain, it's like really making the effort, ask yourself first, um, the way that now I work with teachers is I'll be like refining a question for a month, a singular question, refining it, asking, like getting to the point where I can't go any deeper myself. And then I'll have a call and we might discuss that topic for like three hours. And this happens at a regular cadence, but it's not like, you know, open season where I, I just ask questions spontaneously, 20, 25 questions in a call we're like really drilling deep into the right question because it took a long time to come up with it. And of course, that's not to say in this retreat, you spend all week like really thinking through the question. It's just take the effort to, before asking the question, um, and this is for your benefit, like I'm happy to talk and answer is kind of my thing, right? But much better for you guys, if before asking the question, just consider for a moment like what might the answer be? What's a better perspective? Like how could I frame this? Maybe there's even a more refined question or maybe this question is like not even the right question at all and there's a better question to ask. Just get into the habit, run the program, right? And eventually um, I made a comment like a year later to that business partner. I remember we were like sitting in Berlin and I said it feels like, I, cause I'd been practicing this, it was such a harsh comment it really stuck with me and I'd, I'd practiced it all year. And I made this comment, it feels like I've built like this sort of self-generating power plant in my mind. Like it just does it automatically and it's no longer, it doesn't require effort. When you're first learning to walk, it's really hard and you stumble and fall and it's really like effortful. Now we just get up and walk. And that's what thinking is like. But you know, in a lot of cases and, and everybody here thinks much more deeply than the average cat you know that's why we're all here and everybody does already ask deeper questions every single one of you otherwise we wouldn't be here um, but I'm just encouraging like flex that muscle and keep flexing it and keep making it stronger until that um, you know the intelligence that's asking the question comes alive that's what active mind is at the core